Welcome back to WebCafe AI, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, I want to do a real quick zap when it comes to how to leverage webhooks and ChatGPT. To start off, all we need to do is create a new zap. So we're going to come over here and we're going to hit create new zap. As always, these apps can be found in the video description. So all you need to do is click that link and add it directly to your profile. We're going to go ahead and just do webhook and chat GBT. Perfect. And then from here, we're going to set up our trigger, which will just be the webhook. All right. We're going to come over to webhook. As you can see, this is a premium feature. But for now, we're going to go ahead and say catch hook. And just for a quick explanation of what is a webhook, a webhook essentially is a domain that can be accessed for data reasons. So as you'll see in this specific tutorial, we're going to use a git and a post function. A git is when you're trying to receive data and a post function is when you're sending data. Think of post like mail and think of git like I'm, you know, getting something for from the domain essentially. So in this context, what we're doing is we're setting up a hook or a domain that essentially we're going to post data to and you'll see how to do that in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and do git catch hook and if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this let me know in the comments this is more on the complex end but you know delving in with apis and understanding how to integrate uh like data that can't be accessed from zapier natively is pretty important and pretty important tool to leverage when you know trying to automate your business but from here we're going to leave the child key as empty we're going to continue we're going to go ahead and test this action, but we don't actually want to test it just yet. This is going to be the webhook URL that we're going to be either pushing or getting data from. So in this context, we're going to go ahead and just copy. The API tool I'm going to be using is Asamia just for the purpose of today's tutorial. I wanted to show you a quick way that ChatGPT can be used in this context. All we need to do is simply push the webhook here. Once we have pasted the webhook that we just created in Zapier, there is a bunch of different functions we can access here, such as git, post, put, patch. But git and post are going to be mostly what you're going to be using in most contexts. So for our context here, since we want to post the data that we have or what we're going to be creating right here over to Zapier, we're going to be using the post function. And we're going to be using JSON as JSON is the main way or the main language that's used to communicate with Zapier because Zapier knows how to format it and understand it best. All right, so let's keep this tutorial very simple here. And we're just going to simply say, what is the capital of California? And then we're simply going to hit send. Coming over here, since we sent it, we can go ahead and hit test trigger. And then you see it will come up here. Perfect. The data has been sent over because we said post to right here. So we got what is the capital of California? We're going to add a chat GBT block here. And we're going to use conversation. Continue, continue here, and we're going to say answer this message to so semicolon parentheses in order to contain the data. And we're going to grab the message that was just sent over from that webhook. And then essentially, we can keep 3.5. We don't really need a memory key here. We're going to hit continue and we're going to test this action. Okay, so as you see here, we got our answer. The capital of California is Sacramento. I just want to do this real quick tutorial on, you know, just starting to understand how to use webhooks when it comes to Zapier and AI automation. If you want to see more of this kind of content, which is a little bit more complex than what I'm used to doing on this channel, let me know in the comments. But go ahead and like the video if you felt like you learned something. It's completely free and it helps us out here at WebCafe AI. Check out the playlist at the end of this video as we go over a bunch of other AI automated stuff you can integrate into your business now or just overall learn about the processes. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.